Hi, this is LaDonna Briggs from Sweet Potato Pie Nursery, and I'm going to show you how I make little accessories to go with my little mini babies. I'm working on two right now. I still don't have her arm attached, but these, this is Lily Lou from Marita Winters, and this is Marita Winters' little fairy, and she's precious. So they're little tiny dolls, you can tell. So I like to dress in antique clothing, so I wanted to make some antique rattles. So I found um, these little chains online on eBay. They're kind of hard to get because they're kind of rare. They're from around, I thought they were from 1920. I knew they were really old, but I, this is a separate chain. I found several of these, they're dented, but they actually have 1916 written on them. So these are really old, they're celluloid, they shake. And to keep the little shaker in them, there's a little rock or something in them. I like, I glue a little bead on top and then I remove, I make sure they're upright. And if I remove the chain on top, sometimes you can just kind of pull it and poke and it'll pull right out or you can cut it and break it because it is kind of brittle. Um, but I use E6000 glue to glue what I need to glue on. And so sometimes people ask me how I dress my dolls. Sometimes I'll cut down to old clothing and sometimes I look for old clothing. So this little Lily Lou, I found, I do need to wash this outfit. I just, I'm trying it on and I'm having to do a little bit of repair. But I bought this ugly old doll and she had, she's rubber. She had the cutest little dress. So I'm having to, sew up the lace and I will wash it when I'm done but it's going to fit her perfect and I think it's kind of old looking and adorable so she'll also come with one of her old rattles another thing I use with my little mini dolls that give them kind of an antique look is I look for little tiny dolls I forgot to show this whenever I glue the bottoms of these and I made me a little drying rack here where I could poke it down in and kind of keep it in place till it sets. But let me show you some of the little mini dolls. I look for little old celluloid dolls that'll fit nice in their hands. And it's kind of amazing all the detail that goes into some of these little dolls. She's got a little dress on, isn't she cute? She's a cute one, depending on what they're gonna wear. Here's a little old German celluloid doll and she's got clothes. I think children sometimes sewed their own clothes on their dolls. These are, I think these are little regal dolls, if I'm saying that right. They actually have a little slip underneath. Somebody's made them a bonnet. I thought this was a really cute little outfit for, these dolls are kind of, they're not ugly, but they're, you know. They're fairly inexpensive to find online and they fit perfect in their arms, dressed or undressed. And so I bought, I found three of those together one day. Here's a little Teddy that I think this was, somebody's just made that, but look how precious and tiny it is. So it fits good. It's kind of fun to look for little things. Here's a little race car. It's just celluloid, but it fits perfect with either one if I did one as a boy. And you can buy these online. They're not old. If you cut this ugly thing off, they could have a little bunny to hold. You can buy those like 12 at a time. And here's some little frozen Charlottes. That one's got a yucky top of its head. Sometimes I can clean these up though with a dry eraser and you know, I probably, that's glue on top. I could probably get that glue off. Sometimes you can even glue a little dress around them with some old material. So these look like twins and they need to be cleaned up. And then I, this is a little tiny frozen Charlotte doll. It's really tiny. So I could almost put it on a smaller baby. But anyways, just wanted to show some of the fun things I do with these little dolls and show you how I dress.